Hey, what's up, guys? Matt Sheffield with American Made Exotics here. Uh, we got another hog nose in today. Um, this is one that my daughter was really excited for. Um, she loves the super arctic stuff. So this is one that she just like fell in love with. It is a super arctic anaconda. 66% posset albina, 50% posset toffee. And she just kind of picked it off the looks. Um, she just, again, likes the, the super arctic stuff. So um, it actually got delayed yesterday. So we're hoping that uh, everything's all right. Temps are great and all that stuff. And this is from Tiffany Crippen from T for Pediculture. Let's go ahead and check on this girl. Temps were great, so uh, really not too worried about it. That's cool. I can always appreciate when somebody does that. She's got feed records and stuff for it. Got the dam and the sire. So that's cool. I can always appreciate when another breeder um, puts emphasis into the parents and all that kind of stuff. Very nice. We got some scissors here. Such a pretty animal. I can definitely see why my daughter fell in love with this one. Just a very cool animal. She's gonna definitely be happy to see this when she gets out of school today. It's a very, very chunky and thick and super healthy looking. Uh, so Tiffany did a good job on this. She packed it good enough that it survived the delay, which again, temps are great and all that stuff. So um, no contact info here to show you, but again, the name was uh, Tiffany Crippen. And the business name is T Her Pediculture, and you can find her on Morph Market. She still had a couple other hog nose up there. Um, great to deal with. Uh, super enthusiastic about the animals and stuff. We definitely need more breeders like that in the hobby. So if you're looking for a hog nose, uh, Tiffany was great to deal with. Uh, we certainly look forward to raising her up and breeding that in the future. But we'll go ahead and get this packed up and get it back to the. Um, uh, and again. We always do the oral swab. Um, we do it, usually I do it with Allison helping me. But I'm gonna try once. I told her I'd try real quick by myself before she puts the camera up. And just see if I could do it by myself so y'all can see the process. I'm skilled enough to do it with a ball python one handed. Kind of get her by the head. I know, dude, this sucks. And then just get that swab in there. And just get a little twirl of the upper mouth. That's all you need. And then we'll send that sample in and uh, test for nidovirus, paramyxis virus, and sunshine virus. And we do that on every animal that we have coming in. Uh, we figure if they're gonna be shedding the virus, uh, this is probably as stressed as they'll be. They've been in a little cup in a little box uh, in FedEx overnight. This one for two nights. So, no better time to test it. Uh, we'll virus test it. We'll go back in and we'll overnight the sample to Research Associates Laboratory. Um, they'll get the box first thing tomorrow morning and I'll have results by tomorrow afternoon showing that it's uh, virus free. Again, it's just an important part of quarantine and something I think everybody should do. But we'll go ahead and get this girl home and get her settled in. I appreciate y'all watching until the next one.